14 books that people book. They're all a thousand pages. So there's no way to bring them word for word to screen that you know actually does them justice unless we had a you know 20 season, 13 episodes of season one. So I think um, you know what we've tried to do really is capture the heart of the books and and the story. There you'll see all the characters. That you'll have in the books that you'll have. I think for me, as a big fan of the book. You look so dapper. I know, I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me something about Dino. Uh, and, and most Hello, of the time. Hello, hi, Madeline. I'm good. Very excited. You know, I'm very excited. I know, I can't believe it. We're already here. Are they going to make you go back to work tomorrow? No. No, no, no. I'm not working tomorrow, but Marcus is. But um, no, thankfully not. <laughs> Wouldn't be good for anyone. <laughs> They only let you out of the cage. Yeah. Or like that's right, that's right. Get dolled up, glammed up, and then, you know, back into the Czech forest <laughs> until 3 a.m. Yeah. Are there a lot of night shots? Night shoot? There are, you know what? I've, um, without giving away too many spoilers of season two, I, uh, season one I was outside a lot. Me and Marcus don't think I was ever inside. Um, so, uh, there are a lot of night shoots on this show. But, um, you know, it's, it's beautiful. There's some amazing scenes that happen at night and it's, it's brilliant. So, yeah. And I know, um, I, I asked you about, um, we discussed like Edwayne's choices during the junket. So I was wondering how how would you explain her to non fans what what is cool about her? I feel Edwayne is really self assured. She's fiercely independent and she's constantly breaking social norms, which I think is something that a lot of people are going to resonate with. You know, particularly our younger generations that are very outspoken and very aware of themselves and where they stand in the world. So, you know, I think that's what makes Wheel of Time timeless is the characters that are so relatable um, and the universal themes that we explore. I can't wait to see you until she like starts channeling and stuff. Thank you. Uh, okay. It's great. It's really are you great. are you gonna look at fans' reactions and critics' reactions once they? Uh, yeah. I'm not even sure. Yeah. You know what? I I um something that I saw that was really moving, like brought me to tears, was the fans' reaction of the trailer. That was really special. Um, you know, I don't go prying too much, but um, you know, we feel the fans' love and are so grateful for it. So, yeah. Do you remember? what the first day on set was like for you? Yes, uh, the first day on set I was working with the velvety, wonderful Michael. Um, velvety? Who plays, oh he's just got such a velvety voice, you know, and his beard soft and um, uh, he, he plays Tam. I was just so nervous, so nervous. I was bringing out a tray of cups and just shaking it and dropping them, but he was just, it's like a masterclass, like, it is a dream come true, so. Oh, that's Rand's dad. And yes. It's the guy who was in Game of Thrones. Yes, right? yes, 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 Michael, yeah. It definitely lends uh, a very fantasy. You Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's just, you know, that's just the best of the best. You're like, that is, he's amazing, so, yeah. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Have fun at the thank you. after party. Thank you so much. And thank the fly back. And all of it. Thank you. Right over here, Victoria. with uh, Rafe Judkins. He came in a few years ago and told us this story about he was so connected to those books growing up. And I don't know if you've heard from him, but his mom shared the books with him. And he said that it was like his coming of age, like, you know, spirit guide, basically, taking him through many years of his life. And the way he talked about the, 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 um, 
the, the book series with such like love and reverence. We knew that he would be the one to do it because he would protect what the fans love so much about it, but take you know the journey to the place where he also wanted to bring them on a, on a new adventure at the same time. So it really starts with that. You wouldn't trust it in the hands of just anybody. It had to be somebody really special. Yeah, especially, I, I thought it's amazing that nobody had actually done anything with it until... I was kind of surprised by that also. I really was. Because it is like, to me, it is a, a huge popular book series. Like, it's just funny to me that nobody attempted to do it bad or good before. So I was just happy that we got the, we got the good one. Yeah, and you gave him quite a large budget, too. We did. We gave him what he needed. We know what it takes to uh, build these worlds and to make sure the show won't disappoint the imaginations of the fans. And like you loving it, you see this vast world, and that needs to come to life for you with all the majesty and scope that it can. So we, ha we have to invest to do that. So that's part of it. It's the visual you know, treat of being able to see that world open up in front of you, and there's no way to do that, you know, with a rest really restrained budget. Well, considering that you've also greenlit uh, the, the Lord of the Rings. Definitely. Uh, yes, I'm starting to think you're a big fantasy fan. We are. We love <laughs> fantasy, and we've got some big ones coming up, so it's pretty exciting. And Lord of the Rings looks incredible also. Yeah, I guess people also need it during this, these times. I think so. It kind of takes you to a different place, and you know, transports you to a time where you can just let everything else go and, and see it, these incredible stories. So. And it's amazing that they actually shot during COVID too. It was amazing. Like just dealing with COVID through this whole year with that show, Carnival Row, Lord of the Rings, making sure that our casts were safe and just the extra costs on top of with COVID. But, so happy to do that, wanting to avoid shutdown and having chaos on our sets, and so knock on wood, we, uh, we've done pretty well. Um, our, our, our crews and casts are generally very healthy and happy. So. Great. Well, I'm hoping to see all 14 books. Well, good. Yeah. Get ready. I'm hoping, that, I'm hoping for that, too. So we'll, hopefully we'll deliver for you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.
it's all new to me. So excited everyone can be here. And you're on your you know, home ground. Yes, 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 yes. And you get to see to show it to friends and family now? Yeah, yeah, I've got my sister here. Oh my god, so it's a fan. Um, it's um yeah, it's really, really exciting to see yeah, my my sister's here and I remember she was there when I got cast in 2019, so for her to be able to see this is, is really, really exciting. And I heard that you're working tomorrow. Yeah man, it done me dirt. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain. I mean, I, that'll get an actor looking like he's complaining. I'm, I'm very, very lucky to be here. But, but um, I just can't get on it. I just can't get like to on it tonight, which is cool. But I'm filming tomorrow. But yeah, we're doing season two, which is exciting. And it's, you know, already seeing from where this first episode goes to what we're doing now, the journey and the arcs of the characters is, is incredible. Are you going to get on social media to see the reactions on Friday when it drops? Yeah, I think I'm working then. I think I'm working for. I think I'm always going to be working. Um, but yeah, no, it'll be amazing to see what people think. Like I said, it, like a lot of hard work has been put into it, and um, for the fans as well, the fans of this books, they've been passionate about these books before I was born. So it'll, be, it'll mean a lot for them to to finally see. Well, now you have to introduce it to your friends and all that. You guys are in the fantasy series. So yeah. You have to watch it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mate the other day he saw the trailer. He was like. Oh, you're like in it. You're like in the show. I was like, wait, I've been like living in Prague for like two years. Like, what do you think I've been doing? But um, yeah, no, it's exciting for the friends and family to see it. He thought it was like blinking, you'll miss it. Yeah, yeah, he thought I was just like a Two Rivers villager just like in the background. Or something. I don't know, but he was, it was, yeah, he saw, he was like, oh, you're like in the show. I was like, yeah, man. So no, it's exciting. So what is, uh, how would you describe your character to people who have not read the books and have not read the Yeah, so he's, he's the local blacksmith in the Two Rivers, the village that we meet at, meet them in at the start. He's like um, the gentle giant, really. He's sort of quiet, introspective, very careful with what he does, and very thoughtful, and just a loving friend, really. And, and he has a real kind of issue with violence. And when Moraine, played by Rosman, drags him into this very destructive world he has to kind of navigate this very this violent world that he's been brought into and that's kind of the arc of season one really. and he also gets to talk to wolves yeah man i spend a lot of time with wolves yes yes, yes. so um, no they're cool man they're really cool they're amazing they always like hit their marks and they're always like out their trailer at the right time they're just they're they're amazing and um they're real czech wolf dogs so it's, it's been amazing the visual effects in this is crazy but um it's, it's wicked that i've got to work with real real animals for that part they're good actors too on top of everything. Oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. Like, I'm like looking into the camera and like they're just on point every single take, one take. I'm like, oh, okay, this is embarrassing. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, it's been wonderful. Great, thank you so much. Thank you so Have much. Fun tonight. Thank you. And good no time. Thank you so much.
Shannon, Shannon. 